Hello and welcome to the right angle. Today we shall take up a simple problem on algebraic expressions. We will try to be a little bit sharper. We learn a little more than the last time. But this video is basically a problem. It's not too much of new theory or new knowledge I'll be telling you, but a couple of small tricks. All right, let's take the problem. Here we have, let's say, an expression x plus 1 and we would like to multiply it with x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now, the last time I told you that when you have two algebraic expressions, or when you multiply them, how many terms do you think there will be when you expand this? So here there are two terms. And here there are three terms. So when you fully multiply them, you should get six terms. However, sometimes some terms may cancel out. Upon expansion, you'll find that some terms may cancel out or sometimes there are like terms and you can combine them. But of the first instance, you need to see about six terms. In one way, this expression is very simple because we have picked up both the expressions have just x and the numbers in them. So that's in one variable that is x. Another time we can pick up with maybe more variables, two or three variables, x, y, z or something else. In another way, this is slightly more complicated than what we have seen before because there's the highest power here is x but the highest power here is x square so when you multiply x into x square you get an x cube so x into x square is equal to x cube so this thing can keep changing if it is x square into x to the power 6 then that's actually x to the power 8. So these things are something that you need to be quite conversant and practiced with. But let's go ahead. Let's multiply them. So first thing is multiply this entire thing with x. And to that you add 1 into this entire thing. In this case it's 1 so it could be the same thing. So anyway let's do this. x into x square is x cubed x into minus 2x is minus 2x square x into 1 is x plus just this because in this case we are multiplying with 1 so plus x square minus 2x plus 1 and this is so this is equal to this and we can see that we have 2x square this is a term with an x square and that's a term with an x square. So there's a like terms. And there's an x here and a minus 2x there. So we have this. So if we combine them, if we combine them, we get x cubed minus 2x square plus x square is just x square plus x minus 2x is minus x and plus 1. So we have a nice beautiful expression like x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1. We can quickly check to see if this is correct. So let's say x equal to 2. So then this will be x cubed is 8 minus 4 minus 2 plus 1. So this is 8 minus 4 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. So that's 3. If we substitute x directly over here in these and multiply them, we should get the same answer. So if you put x equal to 2 here, that will be 3. And if you put x equal to 2 here, that will be 4 minus 2 into 2, 4 plus 1. So they cancel out and there's 1. 1 into 3 is also 3. So that was nice and easy. 
we could see that the highest power is x cube because the multiple of the highest powers on both expression that will be the highest power after multiplying so x into x square would be x cube so we need to see some x cube here and we do so that's good so all this and the fact that we can check it quickly you should always try a value like x equal to 2 um, x equal to 0 is not a good idea because a lot of things just disappear it's just 1 into 1 it's meaningless you don't know whether you made a mistake and uh, x equal to 1 is also not recommended so try to do something like x equal to 2 or maybe sometimes x equal to minus 1 to do a check i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and see you around the next time and maybe by now you're getting more and more comfortable